Hello everyone, my name is Julio Cesar and today we have the interface of Premiere Pro CS6. Premiere Pro CS6 now supports more than four camera views for multi-camera video editing. It all depends on the power, memory and capability of your computer. Here I have created this project that consists of uh, nine camera views. All of them are inside this bin in the project panel with a few of them already marked the green marker represents the point where the clips are marked. One nice thing that I want to add is that now multi-camera sequence creation is a lot faster. My steps to create a nice multi-camera sequence involve four crucial points and these are marking and naming of the clips, in this case the nine camera views, creating multi-camera source sequence, enabling the sound in all clips and then enabling multi-camera monitor for the recording of the sequence. The most important thing to understand before we go ahead is that now Premiere have improved the way clips are marked and also after a marker is added to a clip or sequence the marker dialog box can be opened by double clicking on the marker and then you can change the type or add descriptive information. In multicam for the clips to be synchronized, we need to do that. In this specific project, I have named all the markers by the name Simon. Okay, and once we have all the clips named Simon, we move to step number two, which is creating multi-camera source sequence. To do that, we select all the clips with a marquee in the project panel right click and then choose create a multi-camera source sequence. At this stage we will get a new window where we have to give it a name. Our case is Simon Dance and we select our synchronization point. In our case is clip marker Simon. Once this is finalized, we can see a new icon in the project panel that represents our multi-camera sequence. If I double click it, it will open in the search monitor and when I move the playhead, we get the view of the nine clips in the search monitor. Our next step is number three, which is enabling the sound in all clips. By default, Premiere assigns the sound to track number one. In our case, the only good audio is camera number five. To do it, we need to right click our multi-camera sequence and choose open in timeline. You can see all the clips fully synchronized and we enable the sound on each of them. In my case, I'm going to use the audio from camera number five because it's the only one that plays a stereo in my sequence. Okay, once this is done, we move to our last step, which is enabling multi-camera monitor for the recording of the sequence. The way I do it is by right-clicking the multi-camera sequence and choose create a new sequence from clip. This basically is going to give us our nested sequence and I rename it Nest Dance. Now that we have our recording sequence, we check which camera is enabled. The reason for this is because I only have one good stereo sound. Okay, it's number five. Now we open the multi-camera record monitor from the main menu by selecting window and multi-camera monitor. Fantastic! Now we can move the playhead to the beginning in the multi-camera record monitor and press the record button then press play and start selecting our cameras. The red rectangle is our current choice and we just choose a different angle. And just keep changing because the more you change, the more fun you have doing this. It's just fantastic.
Once we finish, we close it and then we just go back and check what we did. You can see that the audio is stereo and now it's camera 3, 6, 2, 4, 8, 7, 6, 9, 1, 5, 8, 2, 4, 8, 6, 9, 5, 9. Okay everyone, this is Multicam in Premiere Pro CS6. See you next time.